Good morning, everybody. Today, we're gonna to talk about how you can turn your tripod form into something a little bit more creative. So at this point, we have made the tube, we have attached our tripod feet, we've gone on the inside and cleaned up by adding clay in there and then smoothing. Uh, and then we've also done some shaping. So I've left my form with this kind of little bit of a curve, uh, but I like that. I want it to be just a little bit of detail, not too, too much. Uh, and I've also kind of cleaned up the opening so it's rounded. There's still a little more to be done, but at this point it's leather hard and I'm ready to start doing some detail work. So just to show you my sketches a little bit, I think this will help. I'm thinking of making one into this cat based on a tattoo my husband has. And I'm thinking the tail will actually be the handle. The other two sketches I was considering was one where I'd have a lidded vessel with hands gripping it around the side. And then the last one was a little bit more decorative, just kind of some line work, some carving. So I'm gonna talk about how you can turn that into your design today. So think about your pencil the way you would anytime you're sketching on a piece of paper. You can sketch on the clay. It doesn't necessarily draw on it, but it makes really, really light lines. So the benefit of that is if I start to just kind of draw some of the curvy lines I'm thinking of, I'll just do two here. You can see that they're showing up, but they're not so deep that if I were to take my sponge and wipe them away, they, they would go away really quickly. So it's a nice way for you to plan out your design. So my recommendation is take your pencil, plan all over with pencil where you're planning on carving, where you're planning on attaching, and then you can do a lot more detail work with it. All right, so let's say I have my design carved in. And let's say in addition to carving out some stripes, which you can kind of see, let me make them a little deeper. Let's say I wanted to do something where I wanted to add on to the base or add on to the sides. Just like we did with our wall hanging, you'd be taking fresh clay and manipulating it and then slipping and scoring on. So in that case, most of the time we made slabs. So if you wanted to, you could roll out a slab, pretend I'm rolling out a slab, you could cut out a very specific shape. So in my case, I mentioned a stripe. And then I could actually go and attach it by slipping and scoring on the surface. But you can do this in other places too. Like for instance, the feet. Let's say I wanted this to resemble a tree. I might take some clay, kind of manipulate it just by pinching and forming if I want it to look more like a root. Maybe I would cut the end so it looks like it forms into two roots. And then I can start just on the surface of my clay playing around with what it would look like to attach it. So you can see right now it's not attached. It doesn't really look connected. But once I figure out the shape, the size that I want, then I can go in, slip and score to attach, and then I can go and smooth the clay together to the point where once I get a little bit more of the work done, it will blend right in with that tripod foot that I have, and it'll blend right in with the form. Now, if I were to add some texture to it, it would really look like it's a part of the piece. In the same way, if I wanted the feet to kind of wrap up and reattach, I could do that. So you have lots and lots of options. And this kind of brainstorming by just like putting your clay on is really nice to figure out what it will look like. Just remember, you do have to slip and score there or it will not stay long-term. All right, so I've done a little bit of drawing. In my case, I would do all of the planning with my pencil first. And then I would go back with my loop tool if I was gonna carve these out or if I was gonna add them on, as I mentioned, I would slip and score. So as you're planning, feel free to take some extra clay, mess around with, well, what would it look like if I attached pieces there? Um, and also use your pencil to plan, and that way you will know exactly what you're doing, I can see what you're doing, and I can give you some more feedback. Good luck.